りいくら考えても覚えがない今ここで風見殿との約束果たすぞ王騎と名乗った男の行方は現在追跡中です。やつはわしとカズヤを殺めると言っておった。必ずカズヤのもとへ向かうはずだ。ところで、ジーンはどうなったそれが、部隊は全滅した模様です。全滅じゃと<笑>所詮その程度だったということか。王騎なる者が現れ、カズヤのもとへ向かう。そして、人の線が立たれたなるほどこれは面白い筋書きができそうじゃ今すぐ全世界にわしが死んだという情報を流せ大会も中止じゃイズオライブ That was the first thing I thought when I saw Jean Kazama. I took the opportunity to quietly pocket a screwdriver. The man who had stolen everything from me lay before my eyes. An opportunity like this may never present itself again. It was as if Lars could read my mind. He explained that when Jin woke up, he would try to use Jin's power to put a stop to all the fighting. All I could do was nod in agreement. Tayshat's b u t a i Kara Hokok, Yosok Dori, Target to a G Shan of Millennium Tower in Mukata Tonoto. Mata. 三島財閥当主死亡の方により G 社の勝利は確実だと世界中が沸き立っておりますここまでは狙い通りじゃな A の準備はできておるかはい鍵となるのは合気よ和也とて安相手ではデビル化せざるを得まい映像を全世界に流す準備はできております和也がデビルであることを暴いた映像を流せば G 社の信用も地に落ちるその上でカズヤを葬れば、世論は三島財閥に一気に傾くじゃろう。ドクター・アベルが残した最強兵器が、わしの勝利を世界へとどろかせるのじゃ。カズヤよ、ゴーキモロとも消し去ってくれる。ヘイハチ・ミシマ、is dead。Has ヘイハチ・ミシマ、is dead。Signal the end of the war。無駄だ、貴様の手は立ち打ちできん。屋上まで案内してやれ。死に場所を己で選んだか、三島和也。ふん。貴様を葬る場所を選んだだけだ。殺す前に一つ聞いておく。貴様はなぜ母のことを知っている八丈家の名残か何かか。かつて和美殿には命を助けられた。ただそれだけのこと。その借りを今返す。<笑>では見せてもらおう。その力どれほどのものか Nice.
Okay. Uh. 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 Ooh, Hadouken. Ow. Ooh. Ooh, all right, here we go. Round two. Uh. Excellent. Okay, that's supposed to happen. Goki, Magoto ni Kazumi o shitte otta no ka? Mishima Kazuya ga debil ka shita eizo, fuksu no kamera de torae mashita. Hmm. To wa iye Kazumi wa mou inai. Subete o watta goto. Saishu shounin shisu no kidou! I couldn't take my eyes off the live broadcast. Next to me, Lee and Lars barked orders frantically, desperately trying to verify whether the images were a hoax or not. The demon on screen was unlike anything I'd imagined. No, it was something much more horrific. The devil incarnate. The demon-like creature you see on your screens is apparently Kazuya Mishima, said to be controlling G Corporation from the shadows. World leaders are currently debating whether to believe. The reports just in that the creature has been subdued by the Mishima Zaibatsu. I'd long assumed this war was between humans that my family, my hometown, had been razed to the ground by people. Ho esaudito le tue richieste. Ora non posso fare altro. We've yet to confirm whether the footage you're seeing is real. If it is, however, it would seem that Mishima Zaibatsu is on the side of justice. Public opinion is turning against us. We're running out of options. An unknown informant has claimed that 
claim the Mishima Zaibatsu down its own satellite. Look, there it is. It's really fallen. Do you We have to get out of here. Move, move. The Mishima Zaibatsu satellite has crash landed. Scenes of chaos unfolding. Masako. Kazuya. Ihats. Kisama wa ore wo koerare. Zaibatsu faces intense scrutiny from around the world. With recent events brought to light, anti Mishima sentiments have grown around the world. Toshi, Mohaya Mishima Zaibatsu Tatenaus Kotoa! Unure Kazuya! Ano Toki Kurado. Kisama no se de Kazama! Sumitu Ano Toki! Zaibatsu downing their own satellite weapon and destroying an entire town left no doubt in my mind that this war was not between humans. The atrociousness of the fighting was inconceivable to the average person, and they soon forgot about Kazuya transforming into a devil, instead choosing to believe that the Zaibatsu were the antagonists. The concept of good and evil changed every day. What a world we live in. I was probably the only person on the planet not paying attention to the news. To me, evil was that which had taken everything away from me, and I couldn't rest until I put a stop to it. So I went directly to the Mishima Zaibatsu's headquarters and told them I would expose them for what they are. I knew I was risking my life just to be laughed off. But I couldn't stand by and watch the world descend further into chaos. Still, they paid me no attention. Bereft of all hope, I wandered around town aimlessly. But then, a man dressed in black approached me silently and told me that Hei Hachi had agreed to meet me. A few hours later, I was placed in a car and driven in a completely different direction than the Zaibatsu's headquarters. When I arrived at my destination, Heihachi Mishima was there waiting for me. Kisama, Mishima ke no shinjitsu wo hodou shitai to yu no de areba, sou no jouhou wa mochi awasete iru no de arou na. At that time, I had no idea why Heihachi had suddenly agreed to meet with me. His eyes latched onto mine, filling me with unshakable fear. I have delved deep into the history of the Mishimas from Jinpachi Mishima to the family's connection to Kazumi Hachijo. The year you declared the establishment of the Mishima Zaibatsu was the same year your wife Kazumi passed away and that your son sustained terrible injuries from falling off a cliff. To me, that sounds like one hell of a coincidence now, doesn't it? Oh? Naruhodo. Tada no kisha dewa nasasou da. Yokaro. Kore kara hanasu koto. その全てを世界に公表するその約束が果たされるならわしが全てを語ろう At that time, I had no idea why he wanted me to reveal everything on his behalf But I was getting so close to the truth I had long fought to uncover that I couldn't turn down this once in a lifetime opportunity The devil's blood in Kazuya and the blood of Kazumi's family, the Hachijos remains shrouded in mystery. I listened closely to every word, each step inching closer to the truth. Ayasu 
わしにとって唯一無二の存在となっていった息子のカズヤも生まれわしらは幸せじゃった特にカズミはカズヤのことを目に入れても痛くないほど溺愛しておったすべての歯車が狂ったのは貴様の言う通りその年のこと稽古中カズミが突然倒れおったカズミは信じられぬほどの高熱を出しており急ぎ病床に寝かせたのだが「カズミ」She tried to kill you? Hmm. Jaga Yokuji, Netsuga Sagata Kazumiwa, Zenjis no Dekigoto, Voitioras, Ismo Dori no Kazumi de Atta. So they were Mara de Jinkako, Futas Kakaita Ningen to Tomoni Orio, Nakanka Pijata. So nothing I ikunich mozit. So she are. Don't be crazy. Oh. Nope. I don't think so. Hey. Hey, you asked for this. Uh. Don't do it, Kazumi. Uh. Uh. The design, though, is just pretty cool. Oh. Come on. Uh. Very close. Oh, oh. I think it's supposed to happen. Unless I'm, unless I'm fucking dead. Yeah, f I fuck up on that. <laughs> Absolutely fuck up on that. Hey. Definitely supposed to block that. I'm not gonna get lucky now. Well, I will try. No, don't get tri don't get don't get trip me. Uh. Don't get trip me. Hey. Oh my goodness. It's been qu been crazy. Been crazy. Okay, I'm probably not gonna make it. Not gonna make it there, man. If I just blocked that wage art, I would have been fine. Oh, what? What kind of bullshit is that? Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, now all of a sudden she is now she's like super difficult now. 
And spamming the same move, that's fucking cool. Hmm. Oh. Oh, get out of here. Hmm. Nah. Not gonna win this fight. Not gonna win this fight. I'm gonna give it my best shot, though. Some bullshit. Mm. Come on. Ah, uh, that was a close one, though. My head, how the game just spikes up in difficulty in this game. It just spikes up out of nowhere. And there's literally nothing I can do about it. Ah. <sighs> This game is really frustrating. It's fucking ridiculous. The difficulty spike is so crazy. Like, it's so fucking stupid. Like, it's so fucking... And the damage it does, too, is absolutely absurd. Okay, what the fuck, dude? Can I do anything at all? Like, come on, this game, it, it, it's just not fair. Not fair at all, dude. Okay, so yeah, she can do all this crazy moves, but I can't. Oh my lord. So fucking cheating, dude. It's fucking cheating, dude. Fuck, man. Stop fucking cheating beyond fucking belief, man. Ah. How can you. How, the AI is literally unpredictable. How can you predict the moveset that this game provides? Like, the game gives no chance. The input we do is like off the fucking roof, too. Like, I need to check. Is there any achievements being this game on normal? Because. I'm about to turn this shit to easy mode because I don't got fucking time for this bullshit. I really don't. I just want to get to the story mode and get this fucking crap over with at this rate now. Fucking bullshit. This is the most rage I have in a fighting game in a long time. I don't care, skip this crap! I'm done with this fucking fight, I have to turn the game on easy mode, this is the fight beater.
So that's how you killed your wife. But why did you drop Kazuya off a cliff? He was just an innocent boy. そして how do you know about that? Let me go! Just let me know one thing! What does this war mean to you? When I came to, I was on a wharf with Lars. I had no idea where I was or what he was doing there. Lars said he'd received a message from the Zaibatsu telling him to come here. He bundled me into his car and then took me back to Violet Systems. As we drove back, Heihachi's words ran through my mind over and over. Why did he let me interview him like that? Why did he leave everything to me? And what was that mournful look in his eyes? Question upon question whirled through my mind, but not a single answer. Everything went down only a few hours later. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Lee was fervishly trying to ascertain Heihachi's whereabouts. Eventually, his spy satellite spotted him and transmitted a picture to us. I stood there in shock. The man I'd spoken to was somewhere unbelievable. ここを選ぶとはな。わしと貴様にとってはふさわしい場所。決着をつけるとするか。貴様をここで終わらせる。Let's see if we can beat Kazuya here. I have to literally search the easy mode to beat Kazumi because my lord, she was on crack, on steroids, and Kazuya here, Kazuya here is being an absolute ass too. I'm getting my ass whoop as always. I'm just, I'm just hoping this is going to be it because I got no more energy to play. <laughs> This is by far the hardest fighting game I've played so far, which is absolutely insane. This is definitely harder than Mortal Kombat, and it just boils down to that I just suck, okay? Let's just be honest here. I suck at this game, but the AI is unrelentless though.
What the hell? Oh god, he got the lasers. Okay. Ugh. Shit. Can't help something under that. Oh. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Not sure I'm gonna be able to beat him, we'll see. Uh. Come on! Hachachi! Uh. Oh, fuck. Uh. That's supposed to happen. Laser beam of death. The demon design is pretty fucking sick, though. Uh. 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 It's on crack now. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Fucking got health back. Uh, uh. Woo. Nope. Uh. Oh. Just, oh, he's getting health back on. Are you kidding me? What kind of bullshit is that? Fucking bullshit. Uh, uh, uh. What the fucking do? Uh. Uh oh. Uh, uh, I might be dead. Might be dead here. I think that's supposed to happen. Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> God. Can we do this? I don't even know I'm meant to win this. This, this is almost impossible. This is almost impossible. Uh, uh, uh. Can we do it? I don't know. I don't have no idea. Uh, uh, huh. You're fuck. Cheating fuck. Oh god. Uh. 
Oh, come on. The music. Bullshit. Uh. Oh. This game really expects me to beat him with that much low health. Are you joking me? Some bullshit. All right, we're just gonna spam, I guess. Uh. We're just gonna spam, I guess. The music, though. Uh. 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 Jesus Christ. It's on crack. It's on crack. Oh boy. Woo! That was too close. Come on! Come on! Yeah, he's gonna cheat, of course. Uh, uh. Come on! Come on! I'm sorry! Uh. Yeah, with your demon demonic powers! You're no match against Hachachi's divine power!
戦いとは最後にどちらが立っているかそれだけだ Truth be told, I'm lucky to still be alive. No normal person could understand the reality of everything I've seen. The truth of it all. Our world was dragged into a war between humans and devils. I'm just one person, but it is my job as a reporter to get the truth out, which is exactly why I'm writing this piece now. One day, the fighting will end. I just hope that when it does, the world will be at peace. Okay. All right. Now that I got time to cool down, unfortunately, I have to put the game in easy mode because did not did I expect the the singing coming in? But yeah. Okay. Premise wise, characters in this game are pretty damn cool, pretty badass, especially Hachach. Uh, Hihachi here, uh, specifically, he is an absolute badass. Now, I know of Tekken, but I have never played a main Tekken game until now with Tekken 7. I did play a little bit of 6, as I mentioned before, on the 360, but I just wasn't really a fan of the gameplay, so I kind of stopped playing it. But after experiencing Tekken 7, the uh, story is pretty interesting, although I don't know the full history of the previous Tekken game, so. Not sure what happened in between those, like Azrael, the, de the demon dragon that Jen beat up, and uh, don't know anything about that. But apparently, apparently, that Pacific demon is gonna play a big role in Tekken 8, as well as with Jen and Kazuya as well. So, I'm just hoping that the gameplay would be a little bit more fluid, or I just need to get good. I don't freaking know, but this game is not easy. I have to, I have to switch the game on easy mode just for me to beat Kazumi. And I probably could have switched it back when I fought against Kazuya, but I was just losing my mind. I just want to get this campaign through, so I just stuck it with easy mode on the last couple, of, you know, the last few fights, which. I would say the majority we have been the game on normal, although it's true to be told this game is not on normal. This game will fuck you up. <laughs> like this game is no joke. Like one it, all it takes is one fuck up in this game. One fuck up and all they need is one hit and then they can keep juggling, juggling and juggling until you're pretty much beaten to a plup. Like that is pretty much the strat in uh, Tekken. And I'm just not really familiar with the gameplay itself. Like I said, I'm more of a Mortal Kombat guy. Uh, even to a certain extent, I like. I probably prefer Street Fighter over uh, over Tekken. But then again, I only played World Tour, so I haven't even played arcade mode yet. So I don't know how the AI works in that game. But the AI is absolutely fucked, <laughs> specifically in this campaign because. One, they are relentless. Two, they but the input read your your moves like to the extreme. Like, like they'll be to the point I hold the joystick right. I'll be holding the joystick and they'll just keep pulling me down with low attacks and spamming attack moves that I can't block on time. But just because I'm trying to move away, you know. But the AI is fucking this game, man. I'm hoping Tekken Eight will be tuned down, but something tells me it won't. So. I just gotta get good in a way. So before I even bother trying to get into Tekken 8 story mode, I'm gonna practice. Specifically, you probably have to practice a lot of Jin and Kasuya since we're probably gonna be playing as them. Uh, I think Ray, uh, Reina too is gonna play a uh, big role too. And look at that, Capcom, uh, of course, with uh, with Akuma. Of course, Capcom has a, a hand to this as well. SNK, Square Enix, and. Uh, 
of course, we can't forget about AMC because we got Negan in this game as well. <laughs> Probably one of, the, my, one of my favorite characters to play in this game uh, when I play as him in practice mode or the treasure battle mode. He's pretty fun to play, I ain't gonna lie. He just, but he just feels kind of out of place in this game because everybody else is like anime, you know, type of style visual, and he's like the only real looking person, so. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, there you go guys, Tekken 7 story mode, it's pretty wild. There are a lot of things I like, but I specifically hate how the AI are in this game. They they don't give a fuck how shit you are in this game, they will show you no mercy. Even on easy mode, I was still getting my ass whooped, so. But at least on easy mode, they kind of tuned down the, on the aggressiveness, but man. They really expect you to learn the gist of the game, like. They expect you to learn how to play these characters and all that stuff, but I don't know. It's just probably just being me. It's a part of me, Pawn. I just suck at the game. I'm not familiar with Tekken, so of course I'm going to do horrible, but man, I do not expect the AI to be that much of a piece of shit. But overall, though, I enjoy Tekken 7 despite how confusing the story it is, but you know, it's kind of a tragic story, you know, since, you know, Kasuya and Hachachi has been at each other's throat since the, since the first game and this is probably a shocking revelation to the fans that you know this is where Hachachi dies and it's his turn to get thrown off from the cliff so I don't know what's going to happen in Tekken 8 in terms of the story mode something tells me it's probably going to get a lot worse and uh something tells me either Jin's going to take you know Hachachi's spot for the Mishima Corporation or Kasuya is. I'm not entirely sure, but we shall see when we play Tekken 8 because Tekken 8 is going to be pretty wild. Like I said, I'm really hoping the, the controls are a little bit fluid, you know, and hopefully they're tuned down on the AI as well on the story mode because the AI is fucked. <laughs> but something tells me they will not do that, but regardless, I am going to play the game. Play the campaign as well as going a deep dive as well with the characters in arcade mode. So that way we get all the different endings you know, each of those characters have. And uh, we just have to see from here. Hopefully Tekken 8 will be an absolute blast. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the playthrough for Tekken 7 story mode. Had a lot of fun. Have a lot of frustration. And it could be an after credit. So if it is an after credit, I will go radio silence. But we shall see. If anything shows up here. But other than that guys. I'm going to end here for now. If you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hit the like button you guys didn't. Oh there we go. We got a uh, special cutscene here. As you can see. Yeah. <laughs> これが平八なきあとの世界だ。そもそも世界にこの戦乱を引き起こしたのは貴様であるのだが、これを収めるのもまた貴様の宿命。あと、お前しかいないんだ。ああ、俺がやらねばな。デビルでしか持つものとして。Orega Can now play the game on the hardest if you're in story mode. Why the fuck would I want to do that? The game was already hard as it is. And then they offer a harder setting. Are you joking me? Are you joking me, guys? You fucking joking me? Oh my lord, look at all this. Look at all this stuff here. Okay, do I have to play all this? Probably... You know what? We'll probably do this as a... We'll probably do this in a uh, Twilight tomorrow before we start doing Tekken 8. Because I'm really curious with the character episodes here. But yeah, I... look at this. Look at this fucking bullshit. Look at this fucking bullshit. 
This set is for the kings of the Iron Fist, with stronger enemies that the hard defeat. This boat requires a cool head and a study head. The problem is, I don't have a cool head. If I play this mode, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind and I'm not touching this. <laughs> we might do character episodes, maybe, or we might just go straight into Tekken 8. But like I said before, hopefully you guys enjoyed the playthrough. If you guys enjoy my suffering and my enjoyment in the story mode, hit that like button. If you guys didn't, hit the dislike button. It's all up to you. Stay tuned for the playthrough of Tekken 8 story mode and potentially the cover of Tekken 7 character episodes. And uh, we might do this, maybe, I don't know. Uh, I might do it just for the heck of it. But yeah, hopefully you guys are looking forward to the playthrough of Tekken 8. And other than that, guys, until then, I will see you to the next one. Peace.